Hello everyone, this is 2D Animation and we're going to learn 2D Animation using Adobe Animate CC. This is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud package. It used to be called Adobe Flash for a very long time, many years. And just recently this year they renamed it to Adobe Animate CC. Now, there's some slight differences between the two but very minor and it's just a few extra tools added. So what we're going to do is once you get the software open, whether you're using Windows or Macintosh, both user interfaces are the same. The only difference is a few keyboard shortcuts. So what we'll do is we'll start by opening up Adobe Animate CC and we're going to cover just the user interface. And go ahead and click on ActionScript 3.0. From here, you can see that you have your standard uh, command bar up here at the top. So you have your file, edit, in this case view, insert, modify text, commands, control, debug, window, and help. So we'll get into more details of what a lot of these different settings can do. So file is pretty standard, file new, open, import, export, publish settings, etc. And edit is pretty standard in most software as well, such as undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, etc. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the rest of this. So what we have here is we have our main stage. This is that big white box you see here in the center. The outside, it's known as the pasteboard, but it's also known as the backstage. And the only thing that we really need to worry about is what is located right here on the main stage. On the main stage is the only content that will be published. So anything located that you create as far as content wise on the outside of this box will not be published in any work you create. So you're confined by this white box. Now it has its own properties. You can make it larger, you can make it smaller, you can change the frames per second, so on and so forth. So just to go over a couple of these things, we're going to start with the frames per second. And at FPS is your frames per second. We're going to keep it at 24 frames per second by default. If we raise it, we're actually adding more work for ourselves. So a lot of people will ask, well, video games are at 60 frames per second, or uh, film, Blu-ray is at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or whatever. And we will stick with 24 frames per second because we're animating. In animation, we're going to create one frame of animation 24 times and then we'll have one second of animation. Now if we bring that up to 30, then you have to create 30 frames of animation or 60 frames of animation for one second. Now you've just increased the work by a lot. So we like to keep things simple. Uh, 24 frames per second is your standard frames per second in film. Uh, if you were to sit down at the movie theater, those movies that you watch in theater are at 24 frames per second. Then we have our stage size. By default, it's at 550 by 400. We're going to change this. For the rest of the semester, we're going to stick with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, and the resolution or width and height will be 1280 by 720. And this is a standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I'm going to zoom out. Control minus or Control plus is zoom in, zoom out, or you can use this little drop down menu here and you can just do something like show frame. So this is our standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So another question I get a lot is I would like to create HD animation. So 1920 by 1080 and I strongly recommend against raising the pixels any larger. This is PX stands for pixels. Any larger than this this is a pretty good size for creating content and the reason being is that once you have that large of a canvas and the scale of it is just it's twice as large as this it becomes very laggy the more complex scene you're creating so the more content you're adding you're actually just creating 
such large files by creating everything so much bigger and in turn it's gonna bog down your machine it's gonna make the file very difficult to work within and you just wanna stay away from very large files because of the technical difficulties that come along with it so stick with 1280 by 720 and now what we're gonna do is uh, we'll take a look at some of the other things here so in the properties we've covered that for the stage we have our library which we will get to we have nothing in it at the moment because we haven't created any content but we will get there um, then we have our timeline down here our timeline is extremely important it's how we animate it's how we create all types of different animations whether uh, we have many layers we can create subfolders and group things together so on and so forth and this is where we will be doing a lot of work on so we also have this little output and we don't need to worry about that at the moment so the timeline is affected by the frames per second if you were to raise this then we'd have to create let's just say 30 frames per second then for one second of animation we'd have to create 30 frames all right so the next thing we can take a look at as far as just the user interface is concerned is this toolbar now this toolbar is where we will use all of our tools to create content with so our selection tool our sub selection tool free transform tool rotation tool um, this tool we won't get into very very much uh, the lasso tool it's these are a number of selection tools but the one thing I am worried about right off the bat is that there are extra settings down here depending on which tool you use. So let's take the, the pencil tool, for example. There are additional tools down here and settings that you can turn on that you just can't see at the moment. So one of the things I'd like to do, if you have a large enough screen or monitor or your display is larger, there's a strong chance you will be able to see it and it will carry down. But if not, you want to go ahead and just get this little arrow here and just kind of drag this out a little bit and you'll see that there's a few more tools that pop up I'm gonna do a double column just in case I don't miss any extra tools here so two columns is pretty good and you'll see that there's an object drawing and a pencil mode and the pencil mode mode changes to straighten smooth or ink and we have our stroke color and we have our fill color and what we have here is just a number of different tools settings colors and information here that we can use to create all types of different type of content now we have some properties in here which are different for each tool so our text tool is going to have different tools our pen tool will have different settings and properties uh, our brush tools our shape tools our oval uh, rectangle and polystar will all have different tools and I'm going to go into these different settings per tool in another video. So there's another column here of tools that we have which will adjust various different things. One is color and then we have swatches. So these two are very important obviously when adding color. Then we have our align tool and one thing to keep in mind and I'm going to get into this in more detail at a later point when we when I go over some of these other tools but this little align to stage is very important to have checked off then we have our information here it will give you the information of your XY and RGB of any color and if you have an object selected it will give you all of this information on that as well our transform this will if I had any content created you could change the rotation the skew uh, the scale and percentage whether it be vertical or horizontal and you could also link it so that it will scale uniformly and if you want to scale anything uniformly you can hold shift as well then we have our motion presets we will not be getting into those and then we have CC libraries in case you have extra libraries so on and so forth and we can get into that at uh, another later time as well so for now um, this is pretty much the layout of the workspace by default the essentials default workspace that's all I've got on the user interface and I hope you enjoyed learning about the UI